Hello everyone, this is Angel Soriano and I sure hope everyone is as excited as I am today. You see, I'm excited because today I will tell you everything you need to know to easily potty train your puppy in this segment of Daily Dog Man. First and foremost, let's take the mystery out of potty training. It's not some sort of unknown secret, okay? Potty training is a process, nothing else. Follow the process, ensure your puppy follows the process, and voila, right? You'll both be successful. By the way, this process may take as short as four weeks, but in most cases, if done right, about eight weeks or so, okay? Let's first set the record straight. Dogs are wired a bit more simplistic than you realize. So, potty training to them needs to be taught in three distinct little lessons. Okay? First lesson is to teach them to go outside. Second lesson is to teach them to not go inside. That's a different lesson than the first one, by the way. They're not wired to get one from the other. And third lesson is to teach them to alert. They have to tell you they need to go outside, right? Otherwise, the lesson is never complete. These are three separate actions and the dog must master all of them for you to be successful. If you've seen any of my prior videos, then you know that I am notorious for providing a checklist. I just love little lists, okay? So let's create our infamous little list right now. One, you need to be consistent in how often you feed and water, how much you feed and water, what times you feed and water. These are critical points, okay? So be consistent. Two, ensure you're feeding high quality food. Poor quality food will cause other digestive issues, which will, you know, slow down your progress, etc. Three, if your pup is eight to 12 weeks old, ensure you take them out every hour consistently. Did I say consistent already? Number four, try to not reprimand your puppy for accidents. Listen up, people. If you follow these little steps so far, any accident this puppy has are your fault, right? Look at yourself in the mirror. Reprimanding your pup will cause other behavioral issues, such as hiding the evidence. This means that they will do their business behind furniture, under a bed. You know, you may never find it until days later, or, or even worse, they'll start eating it, right? Let's move to number five on this list. Exercise your dog often. We've already discussed taking them out every hour, right? Then make sure they get some of that time outside exercising, running after a ball, running after you. Not the entire time, just a little bit of that time, okay? Number six, attach a nylon 10 to 15 foot leash to your dog and then attach it to your own waist. The dog should not be unsupervised. If he's attached to you, guess what? You get to supervise him. This will ensure you indeed supervise him, right? And they don't get in too much trouble on their own. It also teaches them to follow you as you are their ultimate human, right? So keep it going. Pay attention to your pup. Quick little circles in place or excessive sniffing means they need to go out. So don't wait till the last minute. If they do this, then quickly take them outside before the accident takes place. Okay, number seven. So what do you do if you catch them doing their business in the house, right? You were too slow, they did the little circle and plop, here they go. Well, you carefully pick them up and without shame or reprimand, you take them outside on a grassy patch and wait quietly till they finish. By the way, such an interruption is going to cost them to uh, not finish their business, right? And they may lose a couple of minutes here or there sniffing, doing their thing, wait it out, don't play with them, just wait it out. You know they had to go, you caught them in the middle of it, right? So wait it out. Eventually they will, and when they do, you're going to reward that action again. You'll worry about the cleanup later, okay? Right now, you're gonna reward the good, the, the good action of the dog. Number eight on our list, which deals with rewarding, right? Good little lead in. Um, reward your dog every time they go outside, meaning when, not walking outside, when they actually relieve themselves outside, right? Rewards should be consistent with a treat, verbal praise, touch praise, your verbal praise should reward the action, not their name or gender, right? So, good potty is a great example of a good reward. Good girl, it's not. Good Lucy, it's not. They have no control of their name or gender. They have control as to whether or not they potty outside or inside, so start rewarding the action. Number nine, let's teach them an alert. By the way, this is, the other two are useless if you don't teach an alert, okay? Alert is your dog telling you I must go somewhere. I need to go potty, right? Wouldn't that be great if they could talk? This means that they're gonna tell you when they need to go out, period. 
By the way, you can teach them to bark, you can teach them to paw, you can teach them to whine, you can teach them to ring a bell. There's a number of alerts you can teach this dog to do. I have found over the years that teaching them to ring a bell is a lot easier and less destructive. So what you do is you attach a bell to the back door, right? And then start this easy lesson of teaching the dog that every time they hit it, it's going to ding. When it dings, you're going to treat and you're gonna follow the door immediately, right? Follow by opening the door. So ring, treat, open the door. Later, you will switch these two and when they ding, you're gonna open the door and then you're gonna treat after they walk outside, right? Do those in that order. The idea is to make a really big deal of this production, right? Your next piece of homework will be to overreact every time you hear this bell, right? You'll need to stop anything you're doing and run to the door and go outside with your pup and watch them and wait and wait until it's done. And when it's done, you reward all over again. Number 10 and last on our list deals with what do you do with this monster overnight? Right, your potty training, what do you do with them overnight? Well, my recommendation is that they be crated right next to your bed. That way they can hear you, you can hear them. This allows you the opportunity to get up in the middle of the night if they get noisy and whiny. It allows them the opportunity to get used to the household noises. By the way, I advise against having your puppy on the bed with you as it allows too much freedom to either do their business on the bed or just wander through the house at night and cause all sorts of havoc. So, put them in a crate, you'll be much better off. Remember that the best way to fix the behavior is not to ever let it start. So, there you have it friends, this is Angel Soriano barking back at you on Daily Dog Man. If you like this video, please help us out by subscribing to our YouTube channel. We also appreciate your comments if you have them. Remember there are three ways to keep in touch with us. One is you can email us at dogman at mycanineu.com. Two, you can sign up to our email list at mycanineu.com as the dog man. And three, you can subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button. You can find all this information in the comments section below. Thank you.